Hi everybody, welcome to day 15 of ARD Countdown series for Nabat Grade 2025. And let's just see first yesterday's questions answers. Question 1 was which of the following defines field capacity? Basically, field capacity means that after whatever excess water that was there gravi uh, due to gravitation, uh, the water moves down, right? That is known as gravitational water. So, whatever water that is finally left into the pores of the soil where both air and water is present, after excess of water has gone uh, out of the system, that is known as a field capacity. Okay? Second is the aridity anomaly index is based on. So, this aridity anomaly index, it tells about the, uh, it assesses the drought condition of a, of a certain area. Okay, And it uh, assesses, it is based on what? Rainfall, potential and actual uh, evaporation so basically the difference between the potential evapotranspiration uh, and actual evapotranspiration plus what is the rainfall condition of that particular area on that basis this AAI is uh, calculated if it is negative it means that uh, drier conditions than normal are there and if this AAI is in positive the, uh, the calculation is in positive it means it is better than the normal situation so this assess the drought like uh, drought situation okay Third is drought with rainfall less than 75% of normal is called meteorological drought. Here immediate effects are not observed on the crops or on the water. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, there is a decrease in uh, the normal rainfall that is observed and it is known as meteorological drought. Hydrological drought means there is uh, less water than normal in the lakes, rivers, whatever water bodies are there. Agricultural droughts are uh, when the water is now uh, less available for the plants uh, to su sustain. Socioeconomic drought when evil people don't have water and uh, uh, seasonal rot is for short term uh, when there is water uh, scarcity that is known as seasonal rot. So these were the three questions now coming to today's question. First is which of the following is, is an example of double cropping? You have the following option tell the right answer. In which type of intercropping are crops planted in alternate rows and third which of the following is an example of companion cropping? Write down your answers in the comment section and we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.